Uh, I'm Arnold Shimizu. I'm the artistic director for Sonoma County Taiko, and we're happy to see you here for the uh, second performance that Sonoma County Taiko is doing today. Um, we have our representative group of Sonoma County Taiko coming up to play the first song for you today, San Kyoku, which means three songs. Um, it's three of our basic songs that we've made an arrangement together with. Uh, you'll see a little bit of a variation up front here. And um, this is the first song that we teach everybody that comes to learn taiko with us. So, are you guys ready? Come on up on stage.
young guys. <laughs> so, the, um, we got a little set change going on. We're going to do the next number that we have for you. Yes. Uh, Matsuri Daiko. Matsuri means festival, and actually, on the back for Hapi is the kanji for Matsuri. Um, Matsuri means festival. So, this is um, somewhat of a representation of some pretty typical uh, festival patterns, drumming patterns from Japan that have been compiled um, by uh, another group actually from uh, Tokyo. So Erosuke Rokudaiko is kind of attributed with coming up with the uh, pattern arrangement for this, this piece, Matsuki Daiko. Um, we do it slightly different, we put our own little spin on it. So this is Matsuri Daiko.
the next number that we're going to present to you today is really old. Um, I'm not sure how old. I know it's probably several hundred years old. Uh, this is a piece from the Nagano Prefecture uh, from a group, um, the group, original group that modernly, I guess, played it. Uh, it's a group, uh, Osuwa Daiko. It's based out of the Suwa Shrine in Nagano. Uh, the piece is called Kiryu, Sandan Gaishi, and it refers to the, the good luck dragon. We're calling forth the good luck dragon to circle us and reverse our misfortunes, prolong our lives, and um, bring happiness. So three major, it's supposed to turn around, the three major uh, misfortunes that you experience in your lifetime and bring those into the positive. So hopefully this will work and everybody will have long lives and prosperity and happiness. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, so ready?
That's also one of our longer songs. <laughs> when we have people play too many songs in a row, they get kind of tired. Um, that's why I have to stand up here and wave my jaws around. Uh, the next piece that we're going to do... For, did, oh, by the way, do you all feel more prosperous and happier? Yeah! <laughs> okay, the next piece that we're going to do for you is a piece called uh, Yatai Bayashi, which uh, comes from the Saitama region of Japan. Um, you actually get to see what the Germans are, are doing here, whereas in the Yatai Bayashi Festival in Japan, you hear the drums, but you don't see them. They're enclosed inside of a, a yatai. A yatai is a festival cart, a Japanese festival cart, which is made out of big timbers, and it's got great big wooden wheels that don't turn. So sometimes they have a, a piston sort of arrangement in the center, or they get underneath it with a jack. At the corners of a, they go around the block, a, a large Japanese block. So they'll, they'll jack up the cart and then they'll pivot it. And then they'll set it back down and then they have, the way they power them down the street is they have ropes tied to them and they have hundreds of people on these ropes pulling these huge carts down the street. Wow. So the shime, the small high pitched drum, is used to signal the people pulling to either not pull because we're turning the corner and there's people underneath the cart, and if you pull, you're going to squish it. Or to pull as hard as you can, because we got to make it to the next corner so we can turn around. Wow. So we've got a variety of people playing. We've got some of our younger players, uh, Zachary at 7, yeah. Ren at 10. Yeah. Uh, Lucy, at your 11 or 12. 14, sorry. <laughs> Lucy is 14. And then the others, I won't give you their ages because they'll get mad at me. <laughs> okay, so this is Yatai Bayashi. And, oh, we have uh, Abby disappeared. <laughs> hey, Abby. Abby's 10. Yay. She's going to help me out with the uh, backbeat on the gabelle, the chan So, you guys ready? Come on up on stage. There's a, a small amount of sushi and potato salad left to be sold, so if you're interested, please go to the uh, booth over there. Sushi and potato salad are running out.
The other name for this piece is Tycho Abdominizer. <laughs> a lot of people are like, how do you do that? You, uh, your stomachs must be so hard and ripply. Um, <laughs> only somewhat. <laughs> uh, it is a lot of work. Actually, it's a little bit more work in your upper legs than your stomach, but it does, doesn't hurt to have a good set of abs on you. Um, I think everybody that, that plays it finds out that I'm getting stronger in places that I never thought I would. So, um, it's, a, it's a nice piece. It's a fun piece to play, and it's a, a piece that a lot of people look at and go, that's the one I want to play. If, any, if there's any song that, of type, any type of song that I want to play, it's that one. Because it just looks intense and crazy. So, um, that's one reason why some of the people play it here. Some of us just play it for fun. The next piece that we're going to do uh, is the first piece that we wrote for ourselves. And this is a piece that we call Bubun. And Bubun, we found this word in the Japanese dictionary. We were trying to we were trying to fit our idea of the song to a name, and uh, every time we kept thinking about it, we were thinking of uh, snippets and pieces and little little things here and there. We assembled the song from a bunch of different rhythm patterns that we heard like at the the bazaar growing up, at the Hoenn festivals, at different uh, cultural events where we'd listen to the the really old Japanese tapes that we're playing on the PA system. And we came up with Bubun. So Bubun um, kind of means, actually means scraps, I think, in Japanese, more literally. Um, and it, we kind of truncated it from an actual, a little bit longer phrase. But Bubun being different pieces, I said, well, kind of like a crazy quote, really starts to, when I stood back, I looked at the group and was like, this is really who we are. We're kind of a crazy quilt of Sonoma County, made up of different peoples, different heights, different ages, and we all come together to form this thing to keep you warm. <laughs> so, um, Bubun has become our signature piece, and I think it represents us pretty well. Looks like we're ready. We hope you enjoy it.
So, let's see. Now, we're at the end of our program for the day. Um, the last piece that we're going to play for you is a piece that we wrote for our 10th anniversary in 2005. Um, the piece is called Zenshin. Zenshin means moving forward. So it was a nice point in our existence as a Taiko group where we figured it's time to try and expand what we're doing and focus on our... You need something else? <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't know, he's getting this eye from you. Uh, <laughs> so um, we wanted to focus a little bit more on our training and try and get better and more widely versed in uh, different types of drumming, different styles, and uh, this piece we tried to meet some of those uh, aspirations with by setting up different arrangements of drums and different patterns for each section. So uh, we hope you enjoy it. This is Benji.
Japanese culture camp for kids. Our uh, session one, our kids ages 7 to 12 is all full, but right now uh, we'll save you 25 bucks if you've got kids 10 to 14 that want to sign up for our Taiko and Japanese culture camp right over here at the info booth. Uh, it's from July 23rd to the 27th. Yeah. Registration ends tomorrow, but if you do it today, we can give you that discount. The kids will learn about uh, basic Japanese language. Yeah, I can see you guys can be properly proud parents. <laughs> <laughs> for, for a lesson a year, she uh, soaked it all up.